Well, our health day continues, and we're here talking yoga. With me today is Josh Biro, the owner of Vikram Yoga. So Josh, yoga, what is the difference between hot yoga, it's very hot in this room right now, and say yoga just in a regular room? Um, nothing. <laughs> hot yoga is very traditional yoga. I mean, all yoga uses some heat source. It's just as a beginner, it's difficult to understand the moves and the breathing techniques necessary to get a lot of heat in the body. So hot yoga in North America serves the purpose of warming the body up to make sure that you're in a very safe environment and you can get the most out of your efforts in the yoga room. So we are talking about health and world health. What are the benefits of yoga when we're talking about our overall health? Yeah, I mean, yoga is based out of health, whereas a lot of fitness or sports are based out of sort of a very uh, militant, strong, fighting, building muscles sort of way, which is good, but fitness defines is defined as trying to accomplish a specific task. In yoga, you're trying to accomplish health in the body. So it's not a vanity thing. It's about making sure that you feel good. That's the big thing with yoga. And it's a holistic view of the body in terms of making sure that both your mental body, your emotional body, your physical body are all working properly. They're very intertwined, of course, and that, uh, again, you feel good. Now, I know I've tried yoga, and I, I am not flexible. It is hard. But what are some of the benefits? Can, do you gain muscle, strength? What are benefits of yoga? One of the things about doing yoga asana, yoga asana means yoga postures, is that the posture always stays the same, and then we're molding the body to the best of our personal body's ability. So it doesn't matter whether you can accomplish the posture or not. If you're very, very flexible, you'll easily be able to get into the posture, like some of these guys here, but you may not have the strength to hold the posture, so then you have to gain strength. Whereas if you're a very, stretched, uh, very strong person, you may not be flexible enough to get into the posture, so then you have to use your strength to pull yourself to start to gain the flexibility. The bottom line is, whatever your body needs is what you're going to gain from a yoga practice, and that's where it also differs, because it's not so specific to one uh, outcome. So who is yoga best fit for? Can anyone do yoga? Anybody, anybody can do yoga. The best students we have are 70 years old. All right, well, let, let's let, let, teach me something. Okay. Uh, what's a good start, something okay, good. for beginners? We're gonna do, um, this is called half moon pose, Ardha okay. Chandrasana, and it's good for the spine, because it moves the spine in every direction. I'll get these guys to jump into. Okay. So bring your feet together so your toes and heels are touching each other. Okay. Arms over your head sideways, hands, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Now lock your elbows so they're very straight and keep them with your ears. Keep your legs straight and contract your thigh muscles, stomach in. And then push your hips to the left and bring your body down to the right. So bend your body to the right, continuously push your hips to the left, straighten your arms out again, best that you can. A little bit bring your right shoulder forward so that it doesn't come back. This is difficult. Back and keep breathing and then hold it for an honest 10 counts. That's the key. Good. Then inhale, come up. And then you just do the other side and we even you out a little bit. I don't think I'm a yoga expert. <laughs> You're doing this fun. Yeah, lock your elbows out again, straighten your arms. Good. Okay, come up. And up. we're stretching the spine with this. This is moving the total spine. We're going to go all four directions. So then oh, this is a backward bend. So first take a deep breath and drop your head back. It's going to be hard to talk on this one, so you're going to have to just go for it. Then bring your arms back as far as you can. Push your hips forward towards me. Hold it and breathe and breathe and breathe and breathe and breathe and breathe and breathe. You guys go ahead. I guess the trick is not to hold your breath, and that's yes. what I'm doing. And come back up. <laughs> Yes, the tendency is to want to hold the breath. I am clearly the example that anyone can do yoga. So celebrate World Health Day with maybe a little bit of yoga.